Well, what is up guys, um, <laughs> I thought I would do a bit of a video today, so, uh, but not only did the last two videos and the review links, I've got comments on their last two videos, talk about, uh, talk about his RC. Some of the comments make you feel sick that they know that that his RC is unbelievable. You know what makes me laugh, right? Now, enough, every single vlog the ENMs upload these days is just a massive clickbait. Which is why it really kind of pisses me off that people defend them so much. Because all, they all they're basically doing these days, you know, is just clickbaiting stuff for extra views. You know, that's what, that's the only reason, and that's the only reason anyone hit baits, is for extra views. You know, and obviously we know that YouTube don't have a problem with the fact that people are doing that. And I think that's a big part of the reason people do it, is because they know that they'll get away with it. Um, I mean obviously, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good reasons why I despise you know, the way that people stick up for the enemies every day, defend them, you know, like, defend them every single time, they defend them over every single thing they do. You know, it's like, in the eyes of some people, the enemies can, you know, can do no wrong. Um, and I think it's kind of gotten to the point where I've had enough, you know, of people constantly defending people like, you know, people like them. It's the same with the Holy Jolies as well, like it really winds me up that people are always defending them and making out like Jonathan and Anna aren't actually doing anything wrong when actually they are. And we see a lot of, we've seen a lot of proof of their actual wrongdoings. You know, I've, you know, I've, I've done a lot of videos where I've really kind of laid into them about some of the things that, you know, over some of the things they do. And with good reasons. Um, I just think that, you know, there's, there's nothing innocent about what the enemies do, there's nothing innocent about this, that's for sure, you know. I mean, uh, you know, every single vlog they put out these days is just a massive, ridiculous clickbait. You know, and that's why, you know, half the time I, I, I don't even, you know, I, I can't even be bothered to watch the vlogs that they put out is because you know most of the most of the time the vlogs they put out are just massive clickbaits. You know, at least we can actually realize we you know, we at least we're not dumb we're not that dumb enough. That we're actually we're not so dumb that we're constantly falling for the ridiculous clickbaits. As you know, which is what the which is what's happening with the iFam. Like the iFam are constantly falling for their ridiculous clickbaits. You know which is which is actually hilarious, you know. It's just it is actually hilarious to be fairly honest. Um, you know, there's just nothing else for me to say really. I mean, I think, you know, it it, it just you know that the what they're basically doing at the end of the day is they're basically taking their iPhone for fools. Um, you know, and that is the main problem here. They're basically taking their iPhone for fools, um, and that's just not acceptable. That's not okay. You know, it's not right for them to be taking their iPhone for fools. You know, I'm not trying to cause the world war three here. You know, I'm not trying to start any 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 issues here, any trouble. But I'm just saying that. Chris and Sarah don't need to keep putting, you know, keep clickbaiting stuff. You know, they get, it's just, it's just gotten incredibly boring now, the fact they do this all the time. You know, and it, as I said, it's a big part of the reason why I have such an issue with the fact that the yeah, iPhone defend them every day. Because all they're basically putting out there is just clickbait bullshit. You know, and... The problem is here is that their iPhone are, are too stupid and dumb to realise that most of the enemy's flaws are just a ridiculous clickbait these days. You know, it's like, the, you look at it these days, it's like, why are the enemies not clickbaiting stuff? 
The fact that they're, they're practically putting a hit bait vlog out there every single day. You know, because they think that it would get them extra views. But what's funny is that even that clickbait isn't really working anymore. Like, even that clickbait isn't pulling in the extra views. And that's what makes me laugh about it, is the fact that... You know, the eye fact is the fact that... You know, people are so heavily influenced. You know, it's the fact that, you know, people are falling for their ridiculous clickbaits. You know, at least we're not so you know we're not stupid enough to constantly be falling for that. You know, at least we're smart enough to realise that their vlog that, 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 that most of their vlogs are just ridiculous clickbaits ninety nine percent of the time. You know. I the the problem with the iPhone is that they're not able to see that Chris and Sarah most of the time or the majority of the time are just taking them for fools. But that's exactly what they are doing. You know, they're, they're just taking their iPhone for fools, and the iPhone are unable to see that. The, the iPhone are unable to see that Chris and Sarah are basically lying to them 24 7 and basically taking them for fools. You know, the, the 99, most of the, you know, well, 99% of the time. You know, and this is what the iPhone need to wake up and realise. They need to wake up and get their heads out of Chris and Sarah's backsides. And realise that they're being taken for fools. Because this is, you know, this is the problem here. Is the iPhone are too stupid and too dumb to actually realise that. And the sooner they, and the sooner they start realising that, the better things might actually be. You know, I just think, you know, I sit here and I think to myself, like, things wouldn't be so bad. You know, if the iPhone were actually willing to accept that sometimes they might actually be wrong. But this is what the main issue is, and the main, like, this is what, you know, my main issue is with the iPhone. It's the fact that they're never willing to accept that they might actually be wrong about something. You know, they, you know, they think that, you know, the iPhone always think they're right. But the major but what's funny is that the majority is that the majority of the time, the iPhone are not right. The ma you know, the majority of the time, the iPhone are actually wrong. You know, with a lot of their, with a lot of the things they say. You know, they try. They, you know, they, them trying to defend Chris and Sarah just makes them look incredibly shameful and pathetic. But the problem, the thing is, no, as a, you know, and I will say this right here and now. Nobody in their right mind, you know, no sane person would ever want to defend them, would ever think about defending those two. No one, uh, no one with a, uh, no one in, the, uh, no one in the, with a sane, let me start that again, no one with a sane mind would ever think of what Mr. Sarah was do, uh, doing is okay. You know, at least we're not, the, at least we're not letting, you know, we, we as haters and you know, we might be traitors and uh, we might be haters and trolls and God knows what. But at least we're not letting you know, we're not letting Chris and Sarah take us for fools. At least we're not willing to let them do that. But the problem with the iPhone is they're actually it's, it's, it seems like they're actually willing to be taken for fools. You know, and sooner or later they need to start wait they need to start realizing that they're gonna have to start realizing that they are basically just being taken for fools ninety nine percent of the time. You know, half the time, you know, Half the time these days, the things that the end of clickbait are just absolutely ridiculous. The other week, it was some, you know, they were clickbaiting someone moving in when it was just when all it was was basically just um, Sarah's, uh, Sarah's Nana staying for a while, and when it was just Nana Jean, basically just Nana Jean staying for a while. And then, not last night, the night before, they were clickbaiting someone moving out, and it's like. So hit baiting someone moving in, and then and then the following week they hit baiting someone moving out. It, it's kind of funny, you know. But this is the thing: like most of the time, we're able to recognise that the vlog is just a massive hit bait. Like everything about it is just a massive hit bait. Um, it was like the other week they made a hilarious spot up with the type of their vlog, because they put a vlog out, and in the thumbnail, it said shopping with friends. 
But in the title, but the title of the film said solo shopping. And I looked at the title and I was really confused. I was like, so which is it? Because the title said so the title said solo shopping. But the thumbnail said shopping with friends and I was like Do they not realise that they uh, did they not realise they've made that they've kind of made a bit of a fuck up with that? And they put you know, they put solo shopping in the title and then, you know, shopping with friends in the thumbnail. Do they not realise they've made a bit of a bit they've made a bit of a mistake there with that? You know, they put that they they put that vlog out there. But not realise they've made an absolute fuck up with the title with the title and fun now. Because the title of the basically the title and fun now said two different things. As the fact the title as I said, the title of the vlog says solo shopping, but the thumbnail of the vlog said shopping with friends. And I think anybody would be confused at that and would think, well which is it, you know, is it so is it solo shopping or is it shopping with friends? You know. It's, it, like the title and thumbnail of that vlog just didn't make any sense because it said two completely different things, um, and it was like, well, what? Which is it? You know? Um, and I, 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 you know, I laughed at that. You know, I think uh, you know, and it's like, you know, what's funny, right? It, you know, what makes me laugh at them is the amount of times they've left something in the, in their vlogs that wasn't supposed to be in the vlogs. And they find, you know, they realise, and then they, you know, they they take the vlogs down, and they're editing that, but they're editing that part out of the vlogs, and then they re-upload them, you know. But the problem, the thing is, like, the problem is, yeah, the problem is, by the by the time they actually, by the time they actually do that, a large amount of people have already seen what was not supposed to have been seen, you know. Like the other week, like the other day when they took that vlog down because they, you know, they they they, they left the um, they, they left the party in which showed their address. You know, wasn't really a big deal. Because most people, the majority of people, know where they live anyway. You know, quite a large, but you know, quite a large amount of people had already seen it by that point. So there was no point in them trying to get rid of it because so many people had already seen it. But this is, you know, obviously I know that this is something that a lot of YouTubers do. Like they, t they if something that's left in the vlog that wasn't supposed to be in it, they take the vlogs down and they edit that out. But there's no point in them really doing that because so many people have already seen it. You know, and this is what makes me laugh. This is why I don't get why YouTube, why a lot of YouTubers do that because there's no point in them doing it because so many people have already seen it. Like if it was, if only a few people had seen it, then made them fair enough. But what's the point in taking a vlog down and editing that uh, and editing that, that that part out of a vlog, out of a video, when so many people have already seen it, you know? And it's you know this is something the Inums do quite often, you know. This is you know they they tend to you know leave a lot of things in the vlogs that weren't supposed to be seen, you know. What makes me laugh is that you hear, you, see, you, hear, you hear them saying a lot of things in the vlogs and people always put it down to banter. But is it just, but you know, but how do people, like, is it just banter though? It's just a thing, like, people automatically assume it's just banter. But is it just banter though? I mean, look at the other month, right, when they uploaded that vlog and they showed that hip of Sarah yelling at Isla for ruining that hip. Now, what was funny about that was that everyone was saying, all the, well, the majority of the iFan was saying that it was just banter. But they got proven wrong on that because Sarah and Chris took the vlog down and removed that part out of the vlog. Now, you know, that, that proves that it wasn't just banter because if it was just banter, they would have left that in the vlog. They wouldn't have removed it. But the fact that it, but the fact that they removed that part, they edited that part out of the vlog, showed that it wasn't banter, as you know the majority of the I fan was saying it was, um, and that really made me laugh. Um, but you know, I think the problem with Chris is that he doesn't always watch what he's doing when he's editing the videos, you know, and this is why a lot of things get left in the vlogs. That shouldn't that are not supposed to have been left in the vaults because Chris isn't watching what he's doing when he's editing them. You know, I think if Chris was a lot more careful when he was editing the vaults, things wouldn't get left in the vaults that weren't supposed to be in them. Like that, like that vlog when the, like that clip of Sarah, uh, yeah, uh, Sarah Yellen and Isla. Had Chris been a lot more careful when editing the vaults, that hit would never have been left in the vlog. You know, 
Um, I think the problem with them is they, you know, is there's a lot of things that get overlooked. Like they, they, you know, that, and that is where they go wrong. You know, I mean, you know, look, the only thing like is that there's not really a good thing that I can say about the inner uh, channel these days, apart from their vlogs are hilariously bad. You know, and their views are absolutely horrendous. Yeah, they might, yeah, yeah, their channel might have over 1.3 million subscribers, but they haven't exactly done anything to show for that. Because their views are not exactly depicting that, are they? I think the pro, and I think, you know, the, one, the whole 1.3 million subscriber thing isn't, you know, probably isn't something to brag about. Because I think if a lot, as I, I have to say, right, I have to admit it, uh, if YouTube got rid of a lot of inactive accounts, they probably wouldn't have any, and they probably would have less than a million subscribers, you know, probably. You know, there's probably a lot of people who, you know, are subscribed to their channel, but they've stopped, you know, there's a who, who subscribed to their channel, um, and they've still, you know, since they've subscribed, they've stopped watching the videos, but haven't bothered to unsubscribe, you know. And I think that if YouTube got rid of a lot of those inactive accounts that aren't actually being used, you know, we would see a different story, we would see a different side, you know, we would actually see just how many subscribers they actually do have. You know, I don't think it would, any, it would be even anywhere near a hundred, uh, near a million subscribers, but that's for sure. You know, um, I mean, I, to be honest, I am enjoying watching their downfall, you know, and you can see that they know. It, it, I feel like these days, I just, I, I think Chris and Sarah know that the end is coming and I think they know that it's getting nearer and nearer and nearer and it's getting closer and closer and closer and I think they're scared these days I think they're scared because they know that the end is coming they know that the end of their channel is coming they know that their channel you know to be fair their channel died a very long time ago you know you see that not much you know it feels like not much effort really goes into the vlogs that they put out there any out there these days. Like, you know, I, that's the sort of thing. Like back in the day, you know, going back a few years ago, like four or five years ago, it felt like they used to put. It felt like they used to put a lot more effort into the vlogs that they were putting out there. But it feels like these days, it just feels like not much effort really goes into the vlogs. Like, you know. I mean, I, I'm not being funny, but most of their vlogs are watch it, like watching paint dry. To be fairly honest, it's like, you know, they're, they're, they're just not, like, they're, they're nowhere near what they used to be. I mean, you know, the views, their holiday vlogs used to bring in, and their holiday vlogs don't even bring in anywhere near that amount of views anymore. You know, like, gone are the days, you know, gone are the days where, the Inhams were getting, you know, were getting over 100 hay views regularly. Those days for the Inham family channel were very much gone. You know, the only real, the only real views, the only, the only, real, the only videos that, that, that let them any, anywhere near that amount is the Christmas vlogs. They're the, they're the only vlogs that get anywhere near, you know, 100,000 views. You know, the birthday vlogs don't, 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 don't get any, don't get hardly any views. You know, the, uh, the holiday vlogs don't get any, enough any views. You know, their views have tanked since they moved to Dubai. You know, their views have tanked. You know, even the Taylor Swift concert probably didn't really get them as many views as they thought it was going to. You know, let's be fair. They probably, they probably thought that the Taylor Swift, the Taylor Swift vlogs would actually bring them in like hundreds of thousands of views. But it didn't get them anywhere near that. You know. And it's sad how, you know, I tell you how the concert videos can't even get them like anywhere near that anywhere near that amount of views. So, you know, it really is. Like not the thing is like they they do so much and nothing they do is working. Like no one it's like they're not that I want they're not even relevant anymore. You know, they're so irrelevant it's unbelievable. Like, I think in, in general, I think, you know, family vlogging channel, that you know, you know, the family vlogging channels are dying out as a whole, you know, I think the attitude 
towards the family vlogging channels has very much changed, you know, and it's it's changing for the better, you know, realistically, you know, more and more people are starting to see, you know, are starting to wake up and see the kind of bad side to these family vlogging channels, um, <coughs> and are starting to realise that most of these family, these parents are just exploiting their children for money, which is all it is. Um, but, you know, obviously the Enums, they, I feel like they stopped being relevant a very long time ago. You know, to be honest, that you know, watching their downfall is absolutely hilarious. But they're to blame for their downfall. You know, they, in all, rea in all reality, the Enums have done them, have dug themselves into a hole and they can't get themselves out of it. They're digging themselves deeper and deeper and deeper into a hole. And they're, you know, and they're making it harder and harder and harder to dig themselves out. You know, their channel is it's in a it's a very it's in a very sorry state of affairs. You know, it's in a very sorry state. I mean, even uh, even a new baby doesn't get them these days. Doesn't get them anywhere near it. You know, anywhere near a decent amount of views these days. You know, like. Oh, you know, obviously I, I do think that things would be better if they did quit YouTube. You know, I mean, they have said before that they don't rely on you, on the money that comes from YouTube. They don't rely on that. You know, they they, they have said they could quit, to, quit YouTube tomorrow if they really wanted to, you know. So, you know, that they, you know, they're claiming that they're still enjoying YouTube. But... They can say that, but do people really still believe that the Enums are actually genuinely still enjoying doing YouTube? Because when you, you look at them, it doesn't look like they're still enjoying, like they're still enjoying it, or you know, they still have that. It, it doesn't feel like they have that passion for YouTube anymore. I just feel like they're only doing it because, you know, the only reason they're doing it now is because the money. You know, the, 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 the money is still coming in. But I think the people, what people need to wake up and realise that it might be hard to admit this, but if, 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 if family vlogging channels were, uh, family vlogging channels were demonetised tomorrow by YouTube and the yeah, A&M's channel included in that, Chris and Sarah wouldn't stick around on YouTube. You know, if their channel got demonetized tomorrow, they'd be gone. You know, they 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 would quit YouTube. You know, faster you know, faster than people might think. You know, they wouldn't stick around, and they wouldn't have They won't. They wouldn't carry on doing YouTube if they weren't making money out of it. If they weren't making money from that, that's the only reason they continue. That they're still continuing to do YouTube. That's the only reason that they haven't already quit. Is because they're still able to make money. And whilst they're still making money from what they're doing, they won't quit. You know, they will only quit if YouTube if YouTube demonetise their channel. You know, and they start and YouTube stop them from being able to make money from what they're doing, doing what they're doing. You know, <clears throat> all I can say is that the end of the Enum the Enum channel is coming sooner than people might think, and it's coming sooner. It's gonna ha you know, the end of the channel is gonna is gonna happen sooner rather than later. You know. Um You know, I give it two years, Max. I give it two years max and the channel be gone. They will you know, they won't be on you they won't be around. Well, they won't be on YouTube much longer. Because they they'll be gone. You know, they'll wait, you know, sooner rather their channel will be gone sooner rather than later. Their channel is dying, it's slow it is dying and dying and dying. Um it's basically been on its last legs for a while. And I think that sooner rather than later things are gonna come to a uh, things are gonna come to a uh, 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 to a halt for the Enums. You know, things are not you know, things are, the channel is gonna you know, it, it, the, the channel's gonna, the, 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 channel's, the channel's just gonna go, I put, you know, it, it's just gonna, it bends, it's just gonna have to reach and halt for them. You know, I just think that the iFam 
should really fight, they should really make the most of the Inum, of the Inums while they still can. And I don't think they'll be doing, I honestly don't think their YouTube channel is going to last much longer. You know, I, I honestly don't think it is. You know, this is not me trying to start up a start a rally or anything, but I honestly don't think their channel's gonna last much longer. Um, not that, you know, not especially not if they don't even keep bragging and showing off and hit baiting stuff the way they do. You know, if they keep hit baiting stuff, that's gonna kill their channel off big time. I feel like they, I feel like they are what well, that's what they're trying to do. I feel like they are actually genuinely trying to kill their channel off now. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like that, that, that what I see, right, and I'm being, I'm being truthful here, what I see is Chris and Sarah have lost that passion for YouTube. They don't enjoy YouTube as much as they say, as much as they claim they do. Um, and I, I, I think that, you know, they, you know, they're trying to avoid, obviously they're trying to avoid quitting. Um... And I think they're trying to kill, I think what they're trying to do, they're trying, you know, they're constantly doing, you know, like, hit baiting stuff and things like that, because they want to kill their channel off. You know, I think they are genuinely done with YouTube, but I don't, you know, I don't, I think they don't want to admit that. You know, they don't want to admit that they are done with YouTube. Like, you know, you can, say, you can tell that, I think, you know, I feel like they are deliberately trying to kill their channel off. I think, you know, they're intentionally you know, hitting their channel off because they're done with YouTube. Um, so they'll do, you know, so they're basically doing whatever they have to do to heal their channel off. You know, best way to go, really, yeah, heal the channel off. Um, I mean, yeah, maybe it is time for them to think about quitting YouTube, you know, bringing it hurt and down on their YouTube career, you know, and focus on doing, you know, on starting a new, and starting something new. Because YouTube just isn't for them anymore, you know. YouTube, you know, isn't working out for them anymore, you know. Like, the only people that still care about them now is their iFam and that's it. Like, no one else cares about them. No one really cares about them apart from their iFam. You know, I'm not going to keep slagging the iFam off because I have, no, I have no time for them. But why would I, why would I want to keep getting myself wound up with them, you know, I'm just going to sit back, you know, and I'm going to watch their downfall with a smile on my face, I'm going to keep laughing at them, you know, I'm going to keep laughing at how pathetic and shameful they're, they're shameful the I found are, I'm going to keep laughing at how embarrassing their vlogs are, you know, and I would, and I would enjoy their bitter, you know, their downfall is going to be bit, is bittersweet, you know, their, 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 their downfall has been very long overdue and slowly but surely we are starting to see the, the, the downfall of both them and their channel and I am and that makes me very happy um, so as I said I'll keep watching I am I'll keep watching their, their, their downfall you know I'm just gonna let them go on with it I've got you know if they were you know I'll let them ruin their channel and I'll let them destroy their YouTube careers which is what they are doing, they're ruining their channel, they're destroying their YouTube careers. And I'm loving every single minute of it. You know, I'm loving I'm loving every single minute of them of their channel's downfall and I'm loving every single minute of them destroying their YouTube careers with each passing day. You know they ain't gonna last much longer. Um and that, that's and, and I you know and I, and I am uh, no, and as I said, I'm loving their downfall with every, you know, every minute, you know, and I'm going to sit, and so you sit back and watching that. So I hope you enjoyed this video today, um, just what I would do one, giving my thoughts on things. Um, I feel like I'm a lot harmer today than I have been in previous videos. Um, admittedly, as I said, I don't want every video to be a video where I'm shouting and screaming and all that. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video today anyway. Um, I'll see you for another video uh, very very soon. Um, maybe one in the maybe one this evening. I might be ready for maybe tomorrow. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, I'd love to get some feedback on your thoughts. You know, 
and you know, and how, on, on what your on, on your thoughts on this, and yeah, just have a have enjoy the rest of your day. And if I don't post another video this evening, there'll be another one tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye for now.